Keep your love on means you're powerful. You're powerful to create connection. You're powerful over your goal of connecting with other people. So keeping your love on is a decision that you're gonna do just that. I wrote Keep Your Love On because I love people. I love the way that they function. I love the way that they communicate. I love the way that they, they need each other. I wrote this book because I want to help them. The most satisfying part of relationships is when people are connected, when they feel the love that they have for one another. When conflict comes up, instead of seeing each other as the enemy, we, we have an outside enemy, that our goal is not, not just to resolve the conflict, but to first find our connection. Connection is definitely the core of what I'm trying to do as a mother. I don't want to be a dictator and a ruler of the house. My children know that my heart is for them, that I love them, and that we have a connection. I have never seen anybody who is willing to change their goal from distance to connection, not end up with a connection. If I can learn how to tell you what I need while keeping anxiety low, we're gonna have a much more successful communication. If I would have had some of those tools and some of those principles back when I was working for these very large organizations, what a difference that could have made. The goal of communication in our house is understanding and connection. If you don't learn to set limits, if you don't learn to set boundaries, your life gets completely drained of all the good stuff, and so you can't bring what's really important to you to the really important relationships. Somebody responds to you in a negative fashion and you respond back to them in a positive fashion with good boundaries and good communication, and that situation's gonna turn around. I think more and more business people are tuning in to, hey, this stuff lets you maintain your integrity. I think I'd have been afraid that I would have broken their spirit or crushed some of their greatest strengths without being equipped with some of these tools. We always have the choice. We always have the ability to make the decision to keep our love on. It's really speaking of who we are as people who love. This is transforming the way that you think. It's transforming the way that you you view your marriage, you view your relationship with your, your kids. I mean, really any relationship. This book will definitely give you tools to be the mom that you really dreamt you would be. Depending on what hat you have on, I think there's principles in there for all the different hats. This book is for everyone who has relationships, whether it's at work, at home, with friends. It's literally for everyone who has relationships. I love to give people hope.